Hey everyone. Uh, so since this is our first every other week update, uh, I want to make a video because we've got a lot of ground to cover. And it's getting pretty text heavy. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about is something we've alluded to in the past couple updates, uh, which I think is getting really exciting. And that's the idea of anchoring the chains at the center of the router bit. Uh, and so basically, the, the basic principle is if we can attach the chains together at the router bit, uh, it greatly simplifies the mathematics of how the machine works because suddenly we just have a triangle where the lengths of all three sides are known. And that's a pretty simple geometric problem. Uh, the issue is, of course, we cannot actually attach the chains at the router bit because the router is there. Um, so what we have to do instead is attach the chains to something like a big bearing where they can pivot around the router, um, leaving space for the router at the center. And this is an idea that, that we've been seeing thrown around since even before the Kickstarter. Um, and I was initially pretty hesitant on it, mostly because I totally underestimated how hard it was going to be to calibrate the system with two anchor points, um, and how hard all the math was going to be to relate the lengths of the chains to where it was in XY coordinates. And also because I was worried that most of the ideas I saw floated relied on big bearings like this. And either we were going to use cheap bearings like this one, which I was afraid would fill up with sawdust and stop working pretty quickly, um, or we were going to use really big, expensive sealed bearings, which just weren't really in the budget. Uh, so a couple weeks ago, uh, I floated this idea in the forums of basically you have a metal ring, and these chains track along the ring on rollers, and so they're always pointed for the center of the bit. Uh, and within like a matter of hours, the community had vastly improved on my idea. Um, first of all, they they took my idea and like this this ring, for example, was from a source found by someone in the community. Um, so it was an awesome experience. And then there's this whole new idea that's come out that I really want to call attention to you, which is replacing this whole system with a system of linked arms. Um, it's the rigid linkages that give you the same behavior where the chains are always pointing toward the center. Uh, and I think this idea is really exciting. And to be totally clear, this isn't my idea at all. Uh, I just want to call attention to it. Um, really, all of the credit goes to Logan Needham and Kevin Keegan, who basically came up with and built this thing in a matter of hours, and really everyone in the forums um, who's been working on it. So if you want to read the full conversation, there's a link to that forum post below this video. The general principle is that a system of fixed linkages can give you the same behavior, where the end of the chain is always a fixed distance from and pointed toward the center of the router bit. system in general of having the chains pointed toward the center of the router bit is much easier to calibrate than a system with two fixed anchor points. Uh, I found it to be much easier to calibrate, and I think other people have as well. Um, that type of system is now fully supported in both ground control and the firmware, so if you want to play around with it, uh, you just have to go into advanced settings in ground control and change the kinematics type to triangular, and that'll set everything up right. And I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's been throwing around ideas and working on this in the forums. Uh, I can't tell you guys how amazing it is to see uh, everyone working together and coming up with these amazing solutions that I certainly never would have come up with if I was working on this on my own. Um, so everything from sourcing of, you know, where can you buy one-off steel rings and sort of the sizes we want, to coming up with a system of linkages, uh, it's just been an awesome experience to follow along with. So if you haven't checked it out in the forums, or you haven't checked out the forums in general, totally recommend checking it out. I also want to talk a little bit about FlyPad this week, because we've been working on building this house for quite a while now, and we haven't really gone into too much detail. Uh, that's mostly because we're making it up as we go along, and so we want to talk about what worked and what didn't work once we've got it all built. Uh, but I think there's some things we can talk about along the way as well. Uh, and one of those is an idea that we got from the guys over at Shelter 2.0. We had the good fortune to talk to them a little bit at Maker Fair. And one of the ideas that they gave us is using the CNC machine to cut templates, and then using the templates 
as a way to let one CNC machine rapidly make a lot of parts. And the idea is, if you're if you're in sort of like a disaster relief kind of situation, uh, you might only have one CNC machine, but a large number of people who need shelter and are willing to um, sort of work to make it. And so, following a template is is much easier than um, it requires much less skill than say measuring and cutting parts by hand. But it's also faster and cheaper than CNC parts directly. You may have noticed that our design relies really heavily on these full sheets of plywood that have tab edges. Um, and basically, taking the full sheet of plywood and just cutting tabs into the sides is really hard on any CNC machine because you have to get the plywood perfectly aligned. And it's actually more or less impossible with our setup. Um, so the way we've done that is we've used this template. And so what happens is this template is applied to the corner of each sheet of plywood, and then you use a hand router with what's called a, uh, a router bushing, which and you can see it, but it's this silver thing right here. And basically this will run along the edge of the template and cut out. Basically you can exactly replicate uh, a part. Now, you don't end up, the cut doesn't actually end up being an exact duplicate of the template. And that's because this router bushing has some thickness to it. Uh, but that's okay, we can just compensate for that in our CAD program. This system's been working really well for us. Um, it's really quick to make these tab panels. It's nice that you can do it while the machine is running, so the machine can be cutting parts for, say, this front or front rib uh, while you're cutting out the panels to go into those parts. The one drawback is that because the template is applied first from one end of the 4 by sheet and then from the other end, uh, it can actually multiply any errors in the length of the overall sheet. Now this isn't a problem for full length sheets that come from the factory, but if your sheets have been cut down in size, um, it'll magnify any error in the cut length. Um, so we had to be really careful when we were cutting some of our, uh, our sheets down to size. In the future, I would recommend just using this technique with full size sheets. If we'd known that going into this, we could have changed the design very slightly. Uh, use only full size sheets, not have to cut any down. So one last thing I want to talk about this week is a new feature we've added to ground control. And that's this location-specific menu. So if you press and hold anywhere on the G-Code canvas, it'll pull up this menu, which gives you some location-specific options. Like you can tell the machine to move to that location. You can place a mark, or you can see the XY coordinates. So if we place a mark, basically this will, um, we, could, we could use this, for example, to, uh, to check to make sure that we're not going to run into a previously cut part. Uh, and the idea of adding this menu was an uh, awesome community suggestion this last week. So if you have any suggestions for how to make the machine better, how to make the software better, uh, or even things to add to this location menu, um, please let us know, because really it's the, the community that drives uh, the direction of what we work on, um, because you guys are fantastic. Thanks for watching our update video. Um, we'll be back with another update, not next week, but the week after. Uh, but we're also pretty much always in the forums, and there's always exciting stuff going on. So if you haven't been to the forums and checked them out, I totally recommend checking them out. Uh, there's a link below the video. And have a great couple weeks.